My listener, praise the Lord this morning. What kind of foundation is your life built on? Let's pray. Father, we worship you. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for the gift of life. May you minister to us, particularly as we look at the issues of foundation. We thank you and we glorify you. Father, we pray this in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Foundation is defined as the lowest load-bearing part of a building, typically below ground level, when we are looking at buildings. When we are looking at beauty, as applies to ladies, it is a colored cream, powder or liquid used as a base to even out facial skin tone before applying other cosmetics. But when it comes to philosophy and theory, foundation basically is a justification for something. It's what we use to build our reasoning. My listener, what type of foundation do you have in your life? What type of foundation is your family based on? What type of foundation is your religious beliefs based on? And even what type of foundation is your social life based on? Everything has a foundation. A country has a foundation. Like when you look at our country, Kenya, it began somewhere. And the people who began our country, they are what they call the basic items or basic beliefs that they believed on. And that's why, for example, the other day, when BBI went to the Court of Appeal, the issue of looking at the Constitution came up. And it was seen that it was interfering with the foundation of the constitution that was given to Kenyans in 2010. One thing that we wonder, and maybe our lawyer friends will have to tell us, is that before 2010 constitution, there was a constitution that existed. And that constitution, before it existed, there is one which I believe is the foundation where our forefathers, when they were setting up our country, wrote up what they believed on. To me, that should be the basic foundation of all our legal reasoning because that is the beginning. So anything that has been added after independence cannot be referred to as the basic or the base or the foundation of our constitution. Foundation is an important thing, particularly when it comes even to buildings, because it doesn't matter how tall a building is. If its foundations are weak, that building will not last. Even if a building looks strong on the outside but it starts having problems in the foundation that building will come crumbling down so foundation as we see it my listeners is a very important area of our life let's look at the foundation of our life because as human beings there must be a foundation of our life. There's where we are coming from, where we are, and where we will go. Where we are now, that is on earth here, yeah? we will take the shortest time on earth. But where we are going is where we will take the longest time, or most of our time will be there. For example, if you have to look at your forefathers, 
Your great, 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 great forefathers who passed on more than 200 years ago, they have stayed where they went, which as Christians we believe is heaven, if they were saved, or hell, if, if, if uh, they are not saved. They have stayed and continue staying there longer than they stayed on the earth here. That is the foundation that we should be building our lives on. Our lives should be built on a strong foundation. A foundation that cannot be shaken. This brings me to Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27, where the Lord Jesus said, Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rains come in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. My listener, that is the foundation in which we need to base our lives. The Lord has told us that anyone who has built his foundation on his teachings is like someone who's built a house on a solid foundation, built on a rock. May you build your foundation on the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that you believe on, may you build it on the Lord Jesus Christ. May his thinking be your thinking. May his ways of prayer be your ways of prayer. May he guide us in everything that we do in Jesus' name. First Corinthians 3 verses 10 and 11, the Bible says, By the grace of God, by the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care, for no one can lay any foundation other than one already built, which is Jesus Christ. That same verse continues telling us that Jesus Christ is the foundation. That in life, what we are doing now, we are building foundation. Not for ourselves, but we are building foundations for our children, for our children's children, for our great-great-great-grandchildren, and for our great-great-great-grandchildren. So that foundation that we are doing, everyone, every generation will have to build on it. And if the, every generation builds on it wisely, after maybe four generations, who knows, your family will be blessed mightily. But there are those where others built for them, they built wise foundations, good foundations, but the people who came to build later on those foundations built wrongly. Those families have deteriorated. We have seen families which used to be blessed, they are no longer blessed. Those houses have remained and homes have remained desolate. It's like there's no one in that home. May the Lord give you strength that we continue building in his foundation, that everyone that we bring up, our children, our great-grandchildren, will build up on that foundation and finally will have a strong, a strong house representing you and your generation. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May he grant you the desires of your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Money.